On the 5th of September, 2015, Coast Guard Cutter Healy became the first United States vessel to reach the North Pole unaccompanied. It takes a highly capable icebreaker optimally operated by a team of professional mariners. Aboard Healy, our crew embodies the command philosophy of ICE, initiative and cooperation leading to excellence. The United States is a proud Arctic nation. Since the acquisition of Alaska in the 1860s, the United States Coast Guard has and continues to provide presence and access throughout the Arctic region. By becoming the first unaccompanied U.S. surface vessel to reach the North Pole, U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Healy has clearly demonstrated our capability to operate throughout one of the most challenging operational environments on the face of the planet. I'm proud of the crew. Reaching this milestone is a testament to the initiative and cooperation of a crew that continually strives for excellence. By striving for excellence, we have risen to meet every challenge on this arduous expedition that culminated with our arrival here at the top of the world. I didn't think our trip could get any more memorable, but then Polar Stern joined us two days after our arrival at the North Pole. I particularly enjoyed hosting Capitan Schwezi and the senior scientist aboard Healy, where we discussed ice conditions as well as the data each of us has collected thus far. Conducting an international engagement with one of our closest allies at the North Pole is a day all of us will remember with pride. Polar icebreaking is an important mission that enables access for all of the Coast Guard statutory missions, including the facilitation of groundbreaking science. It is a great time to be a polar icebreaker sailor, especially considering the strong backing of President Obama and the Commandant of the Coast Guard. Let this expedition serve as a reminder of the Coast Guard's proud history of Arctic service and our continued commitment to ensure safe, secure, and environmentally responsible maritime activity throughout the Arctic.